Hey GI Joe fans, I am Fun School Ronnie bringing you another Fun School GI Joe toy review from India and this time it's going to be my first GI Joe toy vehicle it's the Fun School Cobra Fan This review is part of Cobra Convergence 3 if you are not familiar with it, it's a month long event in July when G.I. Joe content creators from all over the globe make Cobra content. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the Fun School Cobra Fang. I happen to have both the loose and sealed version of it. I happen to have a car from its modern release. And you can see that they have at least acknowledged the vulnerability of the pilot. An open cockpit leaves the pilot vulnerable to enemy fire but allows for more comprehensive appraisal of target and battle situation. So they think the compromise is good enough. Cobra. Let's compare this with the Hasbro US release. The one on the right is the Hasbro US release, whilst the one on the left is the Fun School version. The first thing noticeable is that the Fun School's black plastic has a glossy finish, whereas the Hasbro's black plastic has matte finish. The next noticeable difference is the color of the red plastic. The Fun School's red plastic has lighter shade of red, whereas the Hasbro's red plastic looks blood red in comparison. There were two different variants of Fang released in US. The retail release of Hasbro had the plain skates, whereas the Mayleve version of Fang had ribs underneath the skate. So the Fun School version used mold of the Mayleve version with ribs underneath the skid and another way to identify a fun school version of fang is to look for the markings of hasbro those are defaced in the fun school version i hope you liked my review of the fun school cobra fang if you do please like this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check Cobra Convergence 3 videos of other YouTube reviewers. Cobra.